play. Hey. What? Come on, Russia. What you gonna give me this year? Hey, I got a new video. I got a new video. Alicia Michelle, I'm ready to go. Eurovision fam. I heard it for the show. <laughs> hey, Eurovision fam. It's Alicia Michelle, your favorite American Eurovision fan. Yeah, I told you guys I'm just gonna keep saying it. Until it comes true. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be reacting to Sergei Lazarev's entry for the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. And he's back in the game representing Russia. Now you guys know if you have followed me, I'm sure you followed me. Well, you can pull up the footage from 2016. I loved Russia 2016. Honestly, if Sergei Lazarev had won instead of Jamala, he definitely would have been a more than deserving winner. I was in Stockholm, Sweden. I saw the rehearsals, I saw the jury show. I saw the performance so many times and to this day, my jaw is still on the floor just like, wow. Wow, the performance was so amazing, so good. And he is really like a professional, seasoned performer. And I love that. You guys know I love that. So now he's back. And Russia's definitely gonna be back in the mix this year. I believe it. I believe that Russia could qualify this year. But I guess we gotta get into this reaction and really see if it will, right? Ha <laughs> ha let's go. Play. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, this is like a ballad. All right. Okay, we're getting a build. We're getting more. And he will sing this live well. I believe that he's, I mean, he's so professional. So this is definitely gonna be sung well live. Huh. Hmm. I don't know about you, but this is not seeming like enough to me right now. Okay. Okay. They scream. Interesting chorus choice. But this is definitely feeling anthemic, which means on stage this is probably really going to be something. Okay. I don't know why we have to have the children in this visual. Wait, my eyes will be liars? Though they try to stay drier until you turn away? What are these lyrics? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to... Okay. Okay. I hear them all. These lyrics are kind of cringe, right? Okay, um, I'm really like, okay, so we know there's going to be some epic staging with this. This is, okay, not so silent and innocent. Okay. So this is our course. I mean, this is definitely going to be epic on stage. It's definitely going to be epic on stage. But I don't think I'm really into this. Oh, is this the end? Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just going to have to, like, pull up the lyrics. These lyrics, I'm a little bit... Confused tears. Maybe they can't be heard or seen, but tears aren't quiet things. They scream. Though my throat is on fire, my eyes will be 
liars. And they'll try to stay drier until you turn away. Um. Um. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm just a little disappointed. I'm gonna hold a little bit of my excitement. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait until I see this live. But I can't put this in my top 10 right now. Yeah, it's nowhere near my top 10 right now. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It's just not gonna be in my top 10. It's just, it just can't. Um, I really need to see the staging. But you know, ultimately it is the Eurovision Song Contest. Sure, staging can elevate an okay song. But we've got some songs that aren't just okay. We've got some excellent songs this year. Excellent songs that are probably gonna have some decent staging. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is definitely qualifying though. Don't get me wrong. This is definitely qualifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see this qualifying, I think. Well, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree with me? That's okay too. Just talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation. Don't forget to like and to subscribe because I've got so much more content coming for you. I'm so excited. Eurovision 2019 is right around the corner. I'm going. Are you? <laughs> Bye.